As always, there are more AI news and here is what you need to know. Of course, I'm still in Bangkok, absolutely enjoying my time here with the cuteness on every corner. I'm a huge foodie and this is my double chocolate shake for only $2. This time on Central World, the Christmas decoration is Pokemon with hundreds of Pikachus on every corner. Of course, Bangkok also has amazing skylines. There's tons of skylines everywhere in the city. Some more food I enjoy. This complete dinner was only 7 bucks and then one more buck for endless green tea. And these one piece Tumblers only cost $3 a piece. I think I need to get one. Let me know in the comments which one I should get. And I found this questionable piece of marketing, but I take it with good humor. The first news for today is the new Facebook image generator called Emu and Blaine Brown has some pretty cool images. Here we have a ice dragon in kind of a Christmas scenario. I really like how the colors look and the composition. Everything looks very good for a newly released model. So this is very important impressive of what Facebook has presented here and I find everything about these images very stunning. However, there's also another bit of information. Meta used 1.1 billion Instagram and Facebook photos that are publicly available, which means user data. So whatever you have uploaded to Facebook and Instagram could have been used to train these images and that's kind of interesting, especially from a privacy issue, because these are not artist works. These are private images. Of course, they're shared publicly, but still they are from individuals, not from professionals. But let's have a look at the video from the Facebook event. Before today, you know, we haven't talked that much about our image generation models. Now we call it Emu. Today we're starting to roll out a bunch of products with, with this in it. And you know, it's that they're high quality, photorealistic, but you know, one of the coolest things is that Emu generates them fast, right? So it's not a minute. These are, it's about five seconds to generate one of these. So you can just message it and tag anything with Imagine and it will generate high quality, photorealistic images right there in the chat in seconds for free. The next bit of news is very important and very close to my heart event by Civit AI. It's called Get Lit and Give Back. Now it's a little bit hidden here in the announcement, but actually this is about juvenile diabetes research. So everything that you donate in the course of this event will be matched by Civit AI as the amount and then be given to this foundation for the research. A very nice Christmas gesture and a very important event. I hope you take part in that. And the next bit of information is also about Civit AI. The Dream Shaper 8 LCM model is out. You can see here, super nice quality. You can render an image in one second flat with the new LCM technology that I showed you before in this video. And as you can see here, the results are absolutely stunning and high quality. You can see here some really amazing images. They also have a very nice variety of different characters and materials. Here you have a little bit of a mix between digital art and a water painting effect and even anime can be rendered because Dream Shaper is a model that can do a huge variety of different art styles. So if you want to experiment with different or even with different style presets, Dream Shaper is actually a very good model to experiment with that. Next, let's talk about loose control, lifting control net for generalized depth conditioning. Now, what this is doing is very impressive, a very interesting concept. As you can see here, you can use very basic shapes like just 3D boxes and use that as a live input to render with stable diffusion and get a live feedback of these changes that are happening. As you can see here, this has a huge variety of different applications. And I would say this is also a fantastic outlook on what can happen when we have AI that is actually generating on live input. So we can imagine this as an input for movies or games that are rendering the scene based on a live input that the scene is providing as basic shapes. This of course also makes it much easier for you to actually create film scenes where you have full control over the position and the movement of different objects and characters inside of that scene. There are a lot more examples on the website on how this can be used by these different previews here. A lot of that has to do with different room compositions, but of course, as you've seen also, you can manipulate objects and move them around in the scene. 
The cool thing is that you can also try this today live. You can see here up there it's a prompt input, seed input, and down here you can manipulate this kind of 3D shape. You can make it wider and you can also adjust the camera to get closer to that. You can rotate the camera. Everything here is a little bit clunky and also the rendering down here is very slow because a lot of people are using it, but it gives you a chance to experiment with this at least a little bit. And there is even more fantastic news for AI video generation. This project is called Motion Control. And as we can see here in the examples, this enables us to control the camera movement, angle and rotation inside of the AI video, bringing us much closer to becoming AI video directors. And another fantastic thing you can see in the lower examples is that this also allows for the control of objects inside of the video. The interesting thing here is that the objects even follow the logic of how they are supposed to work. So you can see that the wind charm on the right side is actually dangling in the air while the sunflower on the left is slowly and softly swaying in the air. When we scroll down on the page, we can find a lot more other examples. And the interesting part here at the lower examples is that you can actually control multiple characters in the same scene. So this can be over time interesting for controlling different characters or actors or even crowds inside of your scene. Of course, this can also be used for more classic things like panning, zooming, or even rotation of the camera in different directions. But we're not done yet with the news about AI video generation. So here is a video from Nick St. Pierre about Pika 1.0. And you should try that out on their Discord server. Really amazing. And all of these fantastic scenes have been created with Pika 1.0. So it's really cool how realistic they look, what how filmic they are. And also the consistency of the scenes is very impressive with the details in the face, with the cinematic expression of what we see in the scene. Really, really stunning. Now let's also check out some fun and innovative community projects. Here we have the SD Christmas Card Factory uploaded by Neuralunk. You can download that ConfUI workflow for free. And this is hosted, of course, on the Open Art website, which is quickly becoming the database for ConfUI workflows. You should check it out, not just because there is still the contest going with a prize pool of over $13,000, but also because you can find here many, many workflows for all things from image generation to IP adapter to video generation to animate diff. There's a lot of different things to explore here, and all of these workflows can be downloaded for free. Next, we have a really cool project here from a Reddit user. He combines SD Turbo with Stable Fast to create 149 images per second with Stable Diffusion. Now that is crazy. Next, we have your fantastic project by another Reddit user who is doing real-time image to image translation. You can see the real-time video input and then the output that is using Touch Designer, text to image adapter Kenny, SDXL and the Turbo LoRa. Very impressive technology, very innovative use of stable diffusion. And of course, you should absolutely check out this very innovative video here. It's using ConfUI and Animate Diff. So really cool result here. Very smooth motion. I'm absolutely impressed by this video. Let me know in the comments where you see the future of video AI. Thanks for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. See you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.